Well, Tottenham, well done. First win of the season. Obviously, it was one we needed. Yeah, it certainly was. Um, it was a game that we, we targeted, really, to win. It's a home game. Um, and having played them already, we kind of knew what they were about, the system they were going to play. And uh, we, we made four changes. One was enforced, but we, me, myself and Zach thought, we'll freshen up a bit, make a few changes, and that seemed to work. Went a goal down there. Yeah, went a goal down. Um, it's a bit scrappy, really. We, we didn't start well at all, uh, which we're quite disappointed with. Um, the warm-up was fine. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing for our case. Uh, having said that, then they did miss a penalty just after, really, um, with John Corley gave away, but the, thankfully the lad ballooned it over the bar and then we got ourselves back in the game. Yes, big big moment that there really the penalty missed. Two down, looks like a long way back. Yeah, it? it would have been, certainly would have been, yeah. But you got yourself back in it, Ryan Stokes for the first goal? Yeah, Ryan Stokes. I say we work on these corners now at the moment in training and um, say it worked directly from it, not quite right. Um, a bit scrappy ball came out and it fell to Ryan and he sort of smashed it between bodies and went in the bottom corner. And then you went 2-1 down again? Yeah, 2-1 down, um, one all half time. Um, again, we, we, myself and Zach were talking about We've got to be patient here, you know, we don't want to concede a goal and lo and behold, um, we go a little bit too cavalier in what we're trying to do. We're trying to win the ball and we shouldn't. Nips it through a player's legs and uh, they go and get their goal, so that was that. But there was a grandstand finish and you turned it around, I think, in the last 10 minutes or so, really. Yeah, it was a grandstand finish and it was it was brilliant to see because obviously um, we had to make a change early on because Josh Gardner went off injured with a groin strain. Um, so we had to change it rack and then we brought on Adam Crow, um, who's done fine, but just one of the freshen up the jobs he comes on and scores an absolute worldie uh, to get us back in the game for 2-2 and then after that you know we we thought well, we'll push on we'll go for this and as it was we go and get a penalty um, and then Merv scores so you know three points for us Regarding Adam Crow's goal I was talking to Ryan Stokes and he said his immediate reaction when Adam uh, Crow shaped to shoot was oh don't shoot from the oh that was a good goal uh, Very similar to myself and Zach to be honest we were there like saying plenty of time plenty of time get the ball cross it in and he's seen it and took it on and you know that's what we've said if you're going to have a shot let's get it on target make the goalkeeper work we've got no issues with that and this one goes in so that's brilliant for him Obviously it's given everybody a lift now yeah, absolutely. Uh, the the team after they were buzzing, you know, we we've been playing well but not getting the results. Um, this wasn't our best performance, but we've got a result, which is what we needed. Someone told me it's uh, in many ways you played better against Randall Valley and lost than you did against uh, this weekend. You know, last weekend just. Gone. Yeah, I think that's probably due to it being a sort of a, a cup game and a derby game, really. But this was sort of a back to sort of oh, we're not sure. Do we go? Do we not go? And in the end, you know, we had to go and push on. We need to win our home games because it's a, we try and make this a fortress. We really do. Um, and so far, with the games we've done, we're in games. So that's ideal for me.